cuttlefish are masters of color change. For these creatures, it's an important way to communicate. Our eyes see the male's striped courting colors. The female cuttlefish sees a range of tones. Some colors are created by chromatophores, tiny sacs of pigment in their skin. They're linked directly to the visual part of the brain and can be stretched and squeezed to produce an amazing array of patterns. One of the cuttlefish's most impressive displays is this strange and rhythmic pulsing known as the passing cloud. Creating it requires a sophisticated nervous system. These rolling waves might be aimed at mesmerizing prey to make them an easy target. Octopuses and their relations also have reflective cells in their skin, and some of these can be particularly striking. The tiny blue ringed octopus is highly venomous. Just one bite from it is enough to kill. It advertises this fact with vivid warning colors in the shape of blue rings. These contain tiny platelets that reflect light, turning it blue. Their ability to use color makes octopuses the masters of disguise and shock. fails, an octopus can squirt an inky smoke screen, which leaves predators with a face full of foul-tasting melanin, while the octopus jets away at an angle. Octopuses can change not only the color of their skin, but its texture. Tiny muscles can transform smooth skin into a spiky mass, like an urchin. If an octopus can change its image, then a predator loses its target. The octopus, you might say, is the ultimate quick change artist. It can blend with any background. It can also masquerade as other creatures. This is one of the most threatening displays, a bluff known as the owl face. Here the octopus changes to look like the head of a much bigger creature, complete with eyes, very like a stingray. The octopus had to change its shape as well as its color to take on this disguise. But can octopuses themselves appreciate shapes? Time to get back to the maze. We've added the next layer to test Leonard further. The two lower walls are transparent, so Leonard can see his prize in the far corner. Keeping this location in mind, he will have to go upwards and over to reach his reward. Getting through holes is no problem. At first, he goes the wrong way. He can see the pawn, but he can't get at it. The only way is up. After just one week, Leonard has it figured out. So, Leonard can remember the layout of a maze, but can he recognize the shapes within it, too? Time for another test. This octopus is learning to associate food with a shape. In this case, a cross. Next, the food is hidden behind the swing door. Like Leonard, 
he must remember the food without seeing it. Our octopus is ready for the big test. Once again, his prize is a tasty prawn. Will he pick out the cross from the other shapes? Success! Let's make sure he truly recognizes the cross by moving it to the other side. So, octopuses can learn to recognize shape. If they can do it in captivity, there's a good chance they will also do it in the wild. One octopus in Indonesia is the master of shape change. It's known as the mimic octopus, and it combines shape, color, texture, and even behavior with spectacular results. It's one of the few octopuses to emerge in daylight, and it has evolved a unique strategy for survival. It appears to mimic other creatures, hence its name. Some flatfish, like flounders, have toxins in their skin, so predators avoid them. The mimic octopus can swim just like a flounder, by flattening its body and trailing its arms behind. The flounder hugs the seabed as it swims, and so will the octopus. The sea snake is the most venomous creature in the sea. It gives warning of its powers with light and dark stripes. The mimic octopus will often hide all but two of its arms when harassed, taking on the appearance of a sea snake. But sometimes, when it's really agitated, it throws up all its arms. Each arm